I've been talking to my children about race since they were five years old. So if I've been talking to you about it since you went to kindergarten, and now when it's time for you to go to high school, and I'm trying to figure out, are you prepared? This is not because mommy had one conversation with you. This is because mommy had a lot of conversations with you over time. Y'all helped me to know myself as well, so I... One day, a situation happened with Alfonso Jr. in which he texted us saying, Mom and Dad, I don't need you to do anything about this. Mm -hmm. I've already handled it. Mm -hmm. He was out um, with his uh, English one teacher um, out in the courtyard. And on the way back in, uh, the teacher stopped him and another uh, uh, African-American boy and asked him to wait back. And she said to him um, that, you know, I wanted to hold you two back because we're about to read a novel. And in the novel, uh, the word, the N-word is used um, consistently. And I want you to be prepared for that. Maybe read it ahead of time. And he paused and looked back at her and said, well, why did you hold us back? When you should have been talking to the cohort of children that walked up ahead, because they're the ones that need to understand about the N-word, not me. I mean, I pulled over to the side of the road. I was so proud of him because... He understood how to handle himself in a respectful manner with an adult, but he also was intentional about the fact that you need to think about this again. For me, that was the moment. I looked at my husband that night and I said, he's ready. He's going to be okay.